Good evening, this is maybe Old Salt Gamer. So I want to talk about mods a little bit. There's a lot of um, difficulty with mods. And I, I actually had to do a full reinstall of the game because, um, well, I messed up something. So it actually worked out good in the long run. Although all my saves are gone, but that's okay. I can just start those over again. But, well, these are the current mods I have now. Um, I did turn off my better my better traders for now. I'm working on that again. But, uh, just an example of what I'm doing here. Now, let's go back and open the workshop. And I want to show you a couple things that you have to keep an eye on. Now, let's just go down and look at a normal easy mod like my uh, the one that I use all the time the ex extra yeah traders so right there it is I see this one doesn't have any restrictions you can subscribe to this and not have to do anything else it'll it'll load itself in the game and uh, this is the easiest type of mod to download if it doesn't say anything else in here, it's just changing a file. Um, no extra steps. If you like this, you hit subscribe and you're done. Now, that's the easy one. <laughs> There's a lot of them that aren't so easy. Let's look at... Um, uh, let's look at one of the not-so-hard ones um, well, that I'm using. Render Distance. A render distance. Now, if you look at this one, this actually lets you draw. This is kind of computer intensive, so if you want to use this one, you got to watch. Um, it doesn't. Uh, there's settings on, so you can change it, but it might make your your computer a little laggy if you're not careful. Um, now, look at this one. See this? VPNX mods. When you see this, that's one of the, okay, that's a harder one to do. Um, somewhere in here, this is probably not the best example because it doesn't, here it's down here at the bottom. There's a, the steps you have to do. And these guides, you know, maybe, I'm, I'm a pretty smart guy, but these guides don't help much. That's why I'm doing this video. There's no videos on st for stationers on how to install these things. So let's uh, look at that and we'll cover one more that's even a little bit more complex but not so bad. Let's go back up here. And these are the three types of mods that I've seen so far and we'll use uh, CCTV which I haven't played with yet. It looks pretty interesting. Now if you look at this one not only does it need um, it'll be in here somewhere. VPNX, but it also needs, needs another thing, Stationer's Mods. So, what does all that mean? So, for this list of mods that I have, there's basically... Oops, sorry. Uh, oh, that's because I got this open. And i got to close that, get out of the mod. I have to have... Uh, a normal way, a BPM, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's B-E-P-I-N-X. -B so I'm just calling, going to call it BPNX uh, program and the stationer's mod program. Now what do you do with those? So let's close that and Let's go to BPNX first. Now here's your website. GitHub BPNX. You can read it. And don't do the, the beta. Um, just do the beta. Uh, that, that's what I recommend. But you click on that. And what it will do. And I'll go ahead and just go ahead and do it. I've already done it. So it might kind of be a little bit different. 
Uh, once you do that, you hit playlist. And it should bring you to this page. And then you go to your computer. Now I have Windows 64. So I click on that. And there's the... Here's, I've done it a couple times already. Then you open this file. Now this will bring you to the zip file extract. And you want to extract this. Extract all. Browse. Now it's already in here for me. so, But you want to go to your common files. So mine's in C. Steam library. This should be the same. You might, If you put it on another, another one of your hard drives, it might not be C. But you want Steam library, Steam apps, common. And then you go to stationers. And see it's already here now. But this is where you just want to put it right in the stationers file. So you would select that folder. And I'm not going to do it because I don't want to delete it. And then you just extract it to that folder. And you're done with installing Phoenix. So I'm going to cancel that and close that. So that covers one of them. Now you go to the stationers mod. And this is another confusing thing. They got all these. You don't want any of them but that one, the mods plugin. Again, this is at GitHub. You see the link there. You could just do install stationers mod. Look for one of the pages in GitHub that has the stationer mods plugin. And you do the same thing. Uh, now this one you click on. And did it do it? I don't know. Uh, da, 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 da. That's not it. That's not what I want. Additional mod. Why is it doing that? Interface patcher plugin. Additional mods. Nope. Well, let me pause and I'll find this. I just had it. And now I can't find it. I'll be right back. Okay, so the easiest way to get to this is the, the one that I have. I have a couple of them that need it. But uh, this is one of them, the programmable sign, which I haven't used yet. So if you go to this, it'll send you see this, go to that, and then uh, and then I just had it. Okay, so you just page down and you go to the releases and don't again you can do the beta if you want I don't recommend it and you go to latest and again what the stationers mod exporter zip no you don't want the exporter you want the stationer mods zip don't do the exporter. Station or mod zips, and again, this will already do what I have done before. Let's go out of here. Go up here. And it didn't put it there. Stationary mods. This is why this is such a tangible pain in the neck. Unbelievable. See, now you got all this stationary mods. And you go to plugin, and there's nothing to download. That's just aggravating. Alright, so let's try this again. Stationary mods tree main. Go to that. Page down. Download the best stationary mod zip from releases. Latest stationary mod, not the exporter, and there we go. So it'll, it'll do this now. This is a little bit trickier because you open this file and you want to export this browse into 
the BPNX folder. And I see mine's already there. So you, you select again theme library, theme apps, common stationers, BPINX. Select the folder. Again, mine is already there. And you hit extract, which I'm not going to do because it's already there. So now you have the two things that you need. Now <laughs> it only gets a little bit trickier. And this is why I'm going to go ahead and. Um, no, I don't want to exit that right now. We'll go like this. Now, what happens after you do that? Now you go in and you download the. At this point, you're ready to download or select the apps that you want to use. So when, now you could go in. I would recommend deselecting all of these before you do those other steps. And then reselect them. And they should do re download, and I'll show you where they go. Hopefully, I remember all this because it's a pain in the neck. Now, when you download them, they're all going to go to Steam Libraries, Steam Apps, Workshop, Content. And then you'll see that number. I don't know if that's going to be the same for everybody. There's all your, your, uh, Apps. Now, the bad thing about this is they have these numbers instead of the name, but you can kind of cheat sometimes if you hold over top. See, there's my letters mod. Now, I made a list. Letters mod is a BP and BPNX required mod. So, what I did is I copied it, I just left it there. That means if it's just BPNX, you go up. To common stationers, EPNX plugins. You want to put all those in the plugins, and as you can see, it's already there in the plugins. So if you just paste it, and it's going to say they're already here if I do it, but there it is. So these are all the ones in the BPNX plugins file. There they are. And then there's the ones that require the Steam apps, like programmable signs. I put them in here and in here. Now you may not have to do that, but you just take that file. See, there's the more cladding, which requires the Steam apps mod. There's a CCTV one that requires the more Steam apps, or Steam mod. This Steam Stationers mod, yes, Stationers mod, sorry. But I put them in there, and I put them in here. And uh, I don't know if you need to do that, but you know what, it worked, and I'm not worried about it. And I'll show you, I hope that makes sense for everybody, because this is a real nightmare. It really limits the people that want to use mods to have to unload all this stuff. But hopefully, I, I went kind of step by step there. Um, hopefully you understood that. Uh, if you go to Open Workshop, I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay. Um, you see, the CCTV one is very popular, but if you go to that, this will actually make it a little bit easier in most cases. You can go to the web the workshop page. And just click on this and it should take you down but it doesn't work very well so I recommend going you know maybe yours is better going to um, and I just type in BPNX oops B E P I N E X BPNX and there's your GitHub. And you'll be able to find it in here. It, it, it's kind of a pain in the neck. You could scroll down and see if you could find it. But it'll be in here somewhere. Um, PNX, maybe if I click there, no PNX, PNX one times builds. It's in here. You'll have to play around and find it. Um, 
windows. And it depends on which site you go to also. But it's confusing. You'll find it. Just follow the way I went to it before and it'll get you there. But that's how you download them. You got to install them into specific folders like I said. And make sure. Now I'll show you what I, it took me forever to get this to work. And I've, again, all my save files are gone because I did a fresh install. Um, because I kept getting that startup error and stuff. And it was kind of a pain. Now you see the render distance. You can see how that does pretty well. You see pretty far away. I don't know how far you would see your building or not. But if you go to this, now I can do CCTV and I can make closed circuit TVs. And I got monitors and things like that. And if I do signs, there's programmable signs. Those are kind of cool. You can, uh, there's some instructions that you got to follow. I'll do a video on those. Uh, Cows are Evil also just had a video on them. He explains it pretty well. So, But the big headache is getting these Deepinex and Stationer Mods things set up correctly so they work. But um, as you can see, I'm going to have to start over because all my save games are gone. It is what it is. <laughs> um, that's okay. I don't mind that so much. But there you go. Um, how to do this. I hope this helped. If not, I can redo it. If you want me to redo it, say that made no sense at all. Redo it and I'll try again. And, uh, you have a good day.